Alright, what is what guys? It's Noah here with another episode of The Outer World. This is part three, I'm pretty sure. Uh, sorry for ending it uh, last time. My girlfriend called me. She wanted to come over. I hadn't seen her in a couple days, so I decided, you know, I'll hang out with her. Uh, I haven't been posting as many videos lately because I've been trying to get ready for college. Oh, God. Yeah, I've been trying to get ready for college. I've been trying to get ready for college, get stuff done, get my schedule. Incoming. Alright, sorry for that minor inconvenience. Um, so, we went through the fight. I ran out of all my ammo! Fun, isn't it? Yeah, no, not so much. So, yeah, I'm about to find some ammo. So, I found a light machine gun, but this looks nothing like an actual light machine gun. Still on the adventure to find ammo. I also found a shock cannon. Oh, I also found some new armor. Now this game is officially looking like Fallout. Alright, so we found the geothermal power plant after killing a bunch of people. Uh, we got this energy gun. We also got an assault rifle somewhere the the right, right here. Hope we're doing no, the okay, so it's off to the right right here, but we cannot get in. Can we? <laughs> yeah, we can, okay. Uh I don't know, I'm not reading all that. But I will pick up all these pain pills. That this okay, never mind, there's nothing else. Alright. So this shotgun is actually I mean, shock. Don't mess with us. This thing melts these robots. What is this? Oh, wait, yeah, do they have anything? No. Garbage. <laughs> hey, this thing's like unlimited ammo. Because each time you kill them, they literally give all the ammo you just used and some more back. So this has got to be OP. Okay, what else? Plasma gun? Dude, holy fuck. I'll use terminal in a second. We gotta look around a little bit, see if there's anything we can acquire. Wait, what's up? Light ammo? I got enough of that crap. Oh, don't have enough. Ah, right, use the terminal. Unlock office door. Turn to root. Messages. Spaces choice. I don't care about all that, but I'm hoping it'll just read it for me. Alright. Now we can go in here. Wait, you know, why are there robots in there when they could have shut them down? Get that, but okay. Ooh. Alright, so I ended up recording this video over time. Okay. Dang it, manual override. Alright, so now that Three just switches. failed. That'll be easy enough. Three switches and there's only two of us. Like it. And some tell them there's gonna be a shit ton more enemies. And I don't know if I picked that lock. But I do. Unlock door. Hey, at least we don't have to figure out the passcode. Low, that would have been bad for us, cause I haven't seen the first passcode anywhere. All right, now we gotta go through here and somewhere we gotta find three switches. Jo Incoming! A little too far away. Ha ha ha! Idiot. Oh wait, they're not enough. They're, they're not enough for me, bitch. You ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing but sit there and go down. 
Mr. Power? Dude, what the crap? I'm curious what this Mr. Power is. You guys saw that when I picked up, right? There's two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we... Die. All right, now I'm increasingly fast, and I get better perks. Go away, Phantom. Phantom. Did this boy just call me a phantom. Where's he at? I swear, it sounded like he was just right here. <clears throat> You're not real. You're not real. So is it gonna give me a choice on which one I need direct power to, or what? Steam, you're liable to get scalded. Let's go! Here they come! For me, not supposed to be able to hurt them as much anymore. I'm doing a pretty good job. I'm not in combat. Am I? Let me collect this shit. Come on, game. Alright. So steam pipes are off. I can <clears throat> get my giant ass cleavers and everything. Dude, I'm finding the loot in here, dog. Give me the loot! Oh, the workbench. Alright, guys, hold up. Alright, now we got another switch. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Process investigating. Here they come! Everyone alright? Alright, combat drone, shut the up. Wow! Great work! What how many combat or uh, combatants you can have in this? Here they come! What an idiot. Alright, so I just went and collected a bunch of stuff. Now I'm about to turn this on. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. I don't know which one we did. It literally gave me no clear choices on anything. It just said you gotta pull the plug. So that's what we did, boys. That's all we could do. I guess we didn't have a choice in the matter or whatever. You're not real. Dude, who's this guy talking? Okay, who's not real? So I'm pretty damn real. Get away! No, I'm not getting away. You about to... You about to answer the daddy, boy. Where you at? Where you little shit? You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. What the hell? You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Alright, uh, you're not a... Listening to me, slow down, tell me what's going on. You're eating sprats, okay. Of course. Do excuse me. I experience brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Ha! <laughs> Back away slowly, I'll just be on my way. Alright, uh, what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. All right, so you're an I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. 
with prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, okay. that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of fill. Braised. I. All right. So we just got an impact hammer and a couple other things. Talk to Crazy Boy over there, Higgins. And he told us a way that we can reprogram. Wait, wait, do I need to go back down? Is that it? Okay, now so I need to go up. Yeah, but he told us one way to get the robots to stop trying to kill us so we can like rewrite their programming and get them to kill each other. So I'm thinking that's what we're about to do. Those robots are a pain. Now that I have a like a phobia of robots, I guess is what they're calling it, a flaw. Then I need to get the hell out. There we go. Here's the control room. Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't, I don't think you really. should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Uh, I see your point. I'm ready to make the decision. Reed tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and power. The deserters are a community. I don't. I can't just destroy what they built. Well, that sure okay. sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but. I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. This girl does not know a god dang thing she won't. I see your point. I think we're ready to make the decision. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Hell no. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Hey, opinions are welcome. I'm glad you did. I like hearing about you. Don't worry about it. I was barely listening to you. Let's get going. Okay. Really? I mean, wow. Time to be Thanks. a simp, I boys. No one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, 
All right, process and safety instructions. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirect power to reversible process. Okay, re redirect power to Edgewater. Redirect power to the laboratory. We're gonna do Edgewater. It's a whole town. There's kids and everything living there. Oh, looks like it's time to do. That's what dipping sounds like. Get the hell out of here. Alright, so my spacer's choice is increased. Alright, so now we can exit through here. Oh. Where's she at? The crap can I kill that thing? Get your ass back here, you sprat. Oh, that was messed up. I'm sorry, guys. You didn't need to see that. Alright, now we're gonna leave this place. Alright, that's probably gonna be the end of the episode here, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to redirect the old lady. I couldn't. Man, I had to simp for my girl right here. You know, she a baddie. I mean, just look. I mean, uh, nothing. Please like, subscribe. Bye.